Hello everyone, I am Krutika Lakkanava and I welcome you all for the BSc second semester mathematics classes. So in the last video, we have started the topic reduction formulae and also we have derived the reduction formula for the integration of sin raised to n. That is for the sin if the power is given any higher number, how to get that integration. Okay, for that one formula we have derived, under that we will take some examples in this video. So the first example I will take is integration of sin cube x. So this integration of sin cube x we will solve by using the reduction formula. So in the solution first, yes in the solution always you write the given things. So here given integral is what? It is integration of sin cube x integration of sin cube x into dx. Now we will write the reduction formula first. So what is our reduction formula? That is we know that integration of sin raised to nx into dx is equal to minus sin raised to n minus 1x into cos x divided by n then plus n minus 1 divided by n into integration of sin raised to n minus 2x into dx. Now to get the integration of this sin cube x what we have to do here is substitute n is equal to 3. So right put n is equal to 3 ok. So n is equal to 3 means what it becomes integration of sin cube x into dx is equal to minus sin raised to n minus 1 means 3 minus 1 that is 2 sin square x cos x divided by n is equal to 3 is there then this plus n minus 1 means 3 minus 1 that is again 2 divided by 3 then integration of sin raised to 3 minus 2 that is 1 into dx. So this is our formula okay according to this reduction formula then now simplify this that is equal to I will write minus sin square x cos x divided by 3 plus 2 by 3 integration of sin x that is minus cos x and don't forget to write plus c that is integration constant. As here integration is indefinite means limits are not there. After integration you have to always add this integral constant. Okay that I have taken as C. Now simplify this. So therefore I can write here integration of sin cube x into dx is equal to it is minus 1 by 3 sin square x into cos x then plus into minus it is minus 2 by 3 cos x plus c. Now this is the integration of a sin cube x by using the reduction formula. So first is what we have written the given integral ok same procedure we have to apply for the further example also. So first given integral ok write that then go for writing the formula. Okay, and after that whatever the power is asked no substitute that as n and after substituting and then continuing again. See here in this one power is 3 so instantly here you have got, got it as directly sign raised to 1 means only the power which is directly you can get the integration. But in some examples suppose that power is greater than means here you will get again the integration of sin with respect to the higher powers ok but it will be the lesser than this value. Then that time what you have to do is again you have to apply here reduction formula ok and then continue that and last one is what simplified and you will get this answer that is the answer of asked integral. So the next example again I will consider with respect to the sign itself but with the next power ok. Next example I will consider is integration of sin raised to 4x. First we have taken sin raised to 3. Now I will take the example of sin raised to 4. Okay. So in the solution again writing the first given integral that is given integral is integration of sin raised to 4x into dx. Next is what we have to write the reduction formula that is we know that 
इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ साइन रेस टू एन एक्स इंटू डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस साइन रेस टू एन माइनस वन साइन रेस टू एन माइनस वन एक्स इंटू कॉस एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय एन प्लस एन माइनस वन डिवाइडेड बाय एन इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ साइन रेस टू एन माइनस टू एक्स इंटू डी एक्स ओके नाउ दिस इज अवर फॉर्मूला इन दिस वी हैव टू सब्सिट्यूट एज एन इक्वल टू फोर बिकॉज साइन रेस टू फोर इज दे टू गेट दैट एज हि साइन रेस टू फोर we have to substitute n is equal to 4 so right here put n is equal to 4 then that implies integration of sin raised to 4x into dx is equal to minus sin n minus 1 that is 4 minus 1 it is 3 then cos x divided by 4 n is equal to 4 is there then plus n minus 1 is 3 and this divided by 4 integration of sin n equal to 4 means 4 minus 2 that is here we will get it as sin square x okay now see here this is the simplified term but here again we have got sin raised to some power again for this integral we will use the reduction formula that is for this integral we will substitute n is equal to 2 in this formula so let us see what we will get integration of sin raised to 4x into dx is equal to minus minus sin cube x into cos x divided by 4 plus 3 by 4 here i will take bracket and now substitute n is equal to 2 in this integral okay so what you will get minus sin raised to 2 minus 1 that is 1 sin raised to 1x cos x divided by 2 because n is equal to 2 is there then plus okay n minus 1 means 2 minus 1 that i can write as 1 divided by 2 then integration of sin raised to see here 2 minus 2 that is 0x into dx so now this is the integration of sin square that is integration of sin square x into dx okay simplify that next term writing this one as it is that is minus sin cube x cos x divided by 4 plus into minus we'll get it as minus 3 by 4 sin x into cos x and that divided by 2 is there that i can write here 4 into 2 then plus 1 by 2 see here any value yes it may be any function or any value if it is power as 0 we all know that that value is 1 so here it is integration of we can take it as 1 into dx then its integration what we will get it as x and again lastly plus c that is integration constant now this one i will write is that is 1 by 2 and one more thing i have forgot is that this one okay 3 by 4 we have to multiply here then continuing this one minus sin raised to 3x cos x divided by 4 then minus 3 by 8 sin x into cos x plus it is 3 by 8x and plus c yes it is what integration of sin raised to 4x into dx okay so this is our required integration value or integral value of sin raised to 4x okay what you have did here first we have written the given integral as it is then we have considered the reduction formula of sin raised to n then we have substituted n equal to 4 because here power is 4 according to that we have got this term and again here integration of that is sin raised to 2 is means again for the same function we have got power here we will use this formula again then substituting n is equal to 2 yes we'll get like this and simplification and then we will get the required solution or you can take required value of the given integral okay like this you can find the exam that is like this you can find the solution of these functions whatever may be given the power of this sign you can use reduction formula again and again and then you can get the complete integral value
okay yes then in this video i have taken two examples then in the next video again i'll take some more examples on the reduction formula of sine raised to n itself okay thank you